the Burgess reactor takes coal and hydrogen and mixes them in a preheater and feeds them to a liquid phase reactor. Product flows from the liquid phase reactor to a high pressure hot separator where a vacuum column pulls bitumen and asphaltines uh, out of the mix. The remaining product goes to a gas phase reactor which then passes to a high pressure cold separator which pulls out wastewater. The product then flows to uh, a distillation column where it is refined into fuel. The product is um, modeled in a supercomputer both for the physical, the pressure, a mechanical, temperature, and chemical reactions um, to optimize the design for uh, maximum productivity before anything is constructed. Once the design is finalized, it is then uh, detailed out in a computer and that is sent to a 3D printer that prints the final production part. The part goes directly into the printer with software and the part is manufactured one particle at a time. Large parts can be made that are production quality. Very sophisticated parts made out of a wide range of materials can be made and assembled into a portable fuel production unit that is then uh, put into a variety of applications. And our metals technology, again, you can grow really complex geometries. This particular heat exchanger uh, was uh, designed for the Formula One racing team. And this is grown in aluminum material. It's ALSI 10 meg. It's a casting aluminum. And the design comes from one of our design uh, software partners within. Imagine from this to this in a fraction of the time and cost that it used to take. The good news is, with Siaki's groundbreaking direct manufacturing technology, this dream is now a reality. And we're not talking about one-off prototypes or tiny parts dispensed from a printer. We're talking critical, high-value parts, up to 19 feet in length, 4 feet wide, and 4 feet high, made from refractory metals like titanium and tantalum, and alloys like Inconel and stainless steel. Starting with a 3D model from a CAD program, Siaki's fully articulated moving electron beam gun deposits metal layer by layer. Depending on the part being manufactured, deposition rates can range from 7 to 20 pounds of metal per hour. A dual wire feed system can be utilized to increase deposition efficiency, as well as to easily switch to different deposition materials. So whether you need to produce functional prototypes or a run of production parts, the possibilities are endless. When Suli's grandfather died, he needed to get from Fiji's capital Suva to his home island of Kadavu in a hurry. But there was no commercial boat that would get him there in time for the funeral. Persuading friends to make a special trip for him and his cousins was his only option. It's really hard in times like this, in times as, as such as this, it's really hard to get into the island. 
overnight diesel-fueled cargo boats are the way most Fijians get around, but as the price of fuel goes up, Fiji's shipping routes are being cut back. Weekly services are becoming monthly. Some islands aren't being serviced at all. In Suva Harbour, boats no longer economic lie abandoned. We take coal from the coal mines and convert it into liquid fuels with a portable compact uh, Burgess reactor and uh, store that fuel locally for local use. This gives us an, an advantage um, when we acquire companies that uh, are suffering from high price fuel or fuel unavailability. Um, this includes improving uh, efficiencies at mining operations that use diesel fuel, farms that use a lot of fuel, uh, fishing fleets that use fuel, and uh, air taxi services that also use jet fuel 